Hello everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. In this episode, I am just going to be looking around our house, the outside, checking for things to do, because uh, I don't really want to go into the nether right now. I'm not in the mood to explore it, so I just want to make sure before I go into the nether that I have everything I need. So... Um, I'm gonna go over here, do I have, okay, good, I have, uh, I wanna grab that. I have mushrooms here, so I think I'm gonna do something with them. They've been here for a while, and I keep wanting to do something with them, so I'm gonna do something right now, so. I'm just gonna, oh great, gra gravel, go away, get out of here. So I'm going to show you one way to get rid of gravel. Oh, that's not that high. So if you do that, if you place a torch or something under the gravel, all the gravel on top of it will fall on the torch and you don't have to destroy it. See? And you still get the gravel back. So it's just a nice little tip that didn't work right there. Because I'm failing, so... Okay. Well, here you do. Like that. Or not. Okay. There we go. You just need to place it really early. So I'm gonna just go this way. Put that there, I guess. And I'm gonna destroy all of this and make a nice little room in here. So. Oh, there's some more gravel. I hate gravel so much. It's so annoying. Come on. Go away, gravel. Alright, so... Right here. Destroy all of this. <laughs> Yay, we got a ton of gravel. That's fantastic. So... Oh, I failed. Oh, well. Alright, so... Now we have <clears throat> a really annoying room right here that looks really bad because all this gravel is at different layers. That doesn't even make any sense. Alright. I guess if you place the torch too early, it doesn't recognize that there was uh, a change under it and it still thinks there's a block there so now this is what I'm gonna do alright oh I need to make this one one more wide okay uh, this way no yeah I wanna go this way so what I'm doing in this room is making a mushroom farm I guess you could say. Well, that's annoying. Okay. More gravel. Stupid gravel. Alright. Well, now this is going to be somewhat of an automatic mushroom farm because the way you do it is you. Uh, okay, so I should have kept one layer of gravel. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to make it easier and do this. So, you dig out this, and then you put mushrooms on the side, and I'm going to keep going this direction. So, you plant the mushrooms on the side like that, and they will eventually start spreading down to the floor, so then, well I need to get rid of all of this too, because I want to make it wider, or not wider, longer, so I'm also going to just place a torch right there so nothing spawns in there right this second. Okay. I don't care, I'm using my diamond pickaxe. Big deal. 
I have it. And I'm going to go look for some diamond before I go into the nether anyways, so... I can afford it. Okay. So, I think this should be long enough right about now. Oh, okay, music. You want to be annoying? You can be in the background. That's not really the background. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so. Now I want to plant more right there. Plant these right there. And there's a mushroom right there that just sprouted. I guess you could say. Okay, so eventually whenever all the uh, mushrooms plant here or spread to there you place water right here and then the water collects all the mushrooms and puts them at the bottom right here so you could just jump down there and get all your mushrooms and you don't have to like pick them hand by hand so I am gonna dig out a little bit more just so more mushrooms can spawn in. I'm gonna go probably like five more blocks this way. Okay, two more I guess. It's gonna be a pretty big mushroom farm just so it's a steady supply of mushrooms which is in turn a steady supply of food so that's good. I shouldn't have been destroying that. Crap. Oh well. So, go this way. Dig out this. I guess I don't even have to dig out this. I could just fill this in. Fill that in and throw right here. So that's where you're going to put the mushrooms. Iron, not the mushroom. That's where you're going to put the water for the mushrooms to start flowing. Okay, so now it's dark in here, and I'm going to... I'm going to move these mushrooms. Not with that. Give me all of these. So I'm going to plant them. Actually, I'm going to plant them one with one space in between. Is that... Yeah, all right. Okay, so now, hopefully they will spread to this block and some of these blocks. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Okay, here, here, and here, and right there. Alright, so that's our mushroom farm for now. I'm going to place a door here also. Wherever my wood is. Do that. Now go over this way. Make a few doors. There. I just wanted to have a couple extra doors. So there we go. And... Let's see. Place some wood and the doors back there and let's see where is flint? there it is Please. I know I had a lot of gravel that's not gravel this is gravel and I'm gonna go eat also because I'm hungry I'm gonna take some all of this wheat not all of it but most of it And make some bread. So now we got a lot of bread. We're gonna have some mushrooms, which I'll show you how to make mushroom stew eventually. And it is dark out, so I'm going to I'm just gonna throw this in here now. Cause now nah, I'm not actually. I'm gonna say just because I'm going out, but it doesn't take that long to run here. I'm going to keep this and this and throw that. And I think I need a shovel. And that's good. So, oh, wait. I want to. I'm going to take these shears also. So, 
what I'm going to do now is venture out into the wilderness. So, uh, I don't have any seeds, so I guess I'm just going to have to make do with what I have at the farm instead. So, as I'm walking, I'm going to break some of this. Oh, here's a zombie. Do I have... Yes, I do have a sword. Thank you very much. Come here. And there's a skeleton. And it's raining. Man, everything. Freaking out. Come on. Wow. Alright. Well, this is not good, because I lag a lot whenever it rains. And I should probably go... I should probably go get some food. <laughs> before I go out and venture into the wilderness. So I can actually regenerate health. Because that might be helpful. Alright, so I'm going to grab... Um... Six. And I'm going to eat one right now. There we go. Okay. Now! Now we can go out. Or not. There. Okay. Whoa. What the heck? That Enderman's freaking out. Uh, oh, but yeah. Before I want to get another sword, because this is almost broken. So, thank you for another iron sword. And there. Okay. Now we can go out into the rain that I want to change into a little less loud. Oh, I know I saw some creepers over here. There's a skeleton. I'm gonna go try to find a creeper. Oh, come here, sheep. Give me your wool. This is partly why I brought the um, the shears, just in case I saw a sheep or any something like that. Come on. Don't explode. Okay, or explode. That'll work. Well, but at least I got an apple out of it. And some dirt and wood. So, it's a little annoying, but okay. So, now I'm gonna sneak attack. Yay. Alright. Thank you for your experience. I'm gonna go. Is that a sheep? No. Oh my god! Whoa! I are there three creepers here. Oh my goodness. Why are there so many? That was weird. Uh, okay. Well. Creeper explosions everywhere. Come here, zombie. Oh my god. There's so many. So many zombies around. Come here, skeleton. Die. Thank you. Should probably make a diamond sword. Just because this iron sword is not good for creepers. It's good for like zombies and skeletons, not even bad, but creepers, it takes too many hits. Like that. That would not have exploded if I had a diamond sword. I would have killed it in two hits. And I could even um, enchant the diamond sword. I know you can enchant iron, but it's not worth it. So, that's why I want a diamond sword, and I might make one. I'm definitely going to make one before I go into the nether. Okay. Move this right here. Where is this skeleton? Uh, okay. Creeper, come here. Can you kill that? Oh god. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I was stuck. Don't explode. Oh my goodness. Come here, creeper. Shoot the creeper. Please, shoot the creeper. No! Shoot the creeper. Oh god. Oh my goodness. That was a huge lag spike. Oh my goodness. Come on! Die! I just like stopped moving and then the creeper appeared in front of me. What are you in the hole for? That was pretty funny. Uh, okay. Um. Where do I want to go? I'm just... Oh, I fell in the stupid hole, really? That was dumb. Okay, let's go over here. 
So there's some sheep, but I want to eat first. Start regenerating health, please. Thank you. Okay, here's a an enderman over there. And a spider. Die. Die, spider. Spiders are annoying. Oh my god. Come here, enderman. I want to kill you. Give me your ender pearl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Oh, there's a couple of zombies and creepers over there. I'm gonna try to get some critical hits on them, but it's not working. Alright, come on. Thank you. Wow, I'm almost... I'm already level 10 and a half. Come here. You stupid TNT bomb. It's got really quiet because the rain stopped. And... Can I lure... Oh god, no, there's way too much stuff over there. I don't want to go there. I want to go back this way. And... What? <laughs> it's raining right here, and then it's not raining. Oh, because it's the desert. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay. I forgot about that. It doesn't rain at all in deserts. But it rains in the other biomes, so... Just one thing... Four zombies, <laughs> okay. This is random. So many of them. Come on. Give me your meat. It's not what you usually say to a zombie, but... There we go. Okay. And it's starting to be a light out, so I'm gonna run back here. Hopefully kill some of the stuff when it's on fire, so it's easier. Okay, and I need to eat. Come here, skeleton. <laughs> Can I hit it into the cactus? I want to do that. Oh, didn't do it. Okay, well... It is light out now, so where'd all the mobs go? There was like 18 of them here. 